General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, has officially announced that its cutting-edge XM-30 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, has successfully passed the U.S. Army's Critical Design Review, CDR. This milestone secures the delivery of prototypes by 2026 and marks a pivotal stage in the $45 billion initiative aimed at replacing the aging Bradley fleet. The program is notable for being the Army's first to undergo a fully digital development process, emphasizing digital threat engineering and the modular open systems approach, MOSA, as foundational elements. In an era where drones and precision weaponry dominate the battlefield, the ability to update both software and hardware rapidly, within months rather than years, could provide a crucial tactical edge. The XM30 features a 42-ton hybrid electric chassis paired with a remote-controlled 50mm XM913 cannon and two anti-tank missiles. It integrates an AI-enhanced fire control system, layered passive armor, active protection, and counter-unmanned aerial system sensors, all linked via an open digital backbone. This sophisticated network allows a two-person crew to effectively operate the vehicle and manage a squad of six infantry soldiers while maintaining silent operations using battery power. Originally launched in 2019 as the optionally manned fighting vehicle, the program shifted to a fully model-based 3D design approach in 2021. GDLS and American Rainmetal were each awarded around $800 million for design and prototype development. Clearing the CDR keeps GDLS on track for soldier evaluations in 2026, with a milestone B decision expected soon and a decisive winner-take-all selection slated for fiscal year 2027. Should XM30 prevail, low-rate production could begin in FY 2028 with full production ramping up by FY 2030. Compared to competitors, XM30 offers distinct advantages. The current Bradley M2A4 carries a smaller 25mm chain gun, requires three crew members, and lacks hybrid propulsion. Rainmetal's Lynx KF41 mounts a 30-35mm turret and uses a diesel engine but was not engineered from inception as a software-defined platform. By combining a powerful 50mm gun, hybrid electric propulsion, and native MOSA integration, the XM30 achieves greater combat range, quieter operation, reduced heat signatures, and modular upgrade flexibility unmatched by rivals. Strategically, adopting MOSA sets a benchmark for allied forces, enabling easy integration of national communication systems, counter-drone defenses, or loitering munitions onto a unified platform without costly recertification. Geopolitically, it signals to near-peer competitors the West's commitment to continuously modernizing land vehicles with the speed and agility of consumer tech innovation, a lesson reinforced by the drone-heavy battlefields of Ukraine. From a military standpoint, the hybrid powertrain allows stealthy maneuvering and supplies ample electrical energy to support future directed energy weapons or advanced sensors. The digital architecture facilitates fast and secure software updates, crucial for electronic warfare resilience. On the financial front, Congress has allocated approximately $2.4 billion so far for design and prototype competition, including a recent $1.6 billion contract awarded jointly to GDLS and Rainmetal. If the Army proceeds with its planned acquisition of 3,800 vehicles, the total program lifecycle cost is expected to reach around $45 billion, marking the largest U.S. armored vehicle procurement since the Abrams tank. GDLS's success in the CDR phase proves that a fully virtual, software-driven development strategy can accelerate production from digital design to physical reality, sidestepping many costly setbacks experienced by past armored vehicle programs. If upcoming field tests confirm its capabilities, the XM30 will not just succeed the Bradley, it will revolutionize how Western forces conceive, develop, and upgrade armored combat vehicles for decades ahead.